Now what I'd like to show you is how to combine data from different data sets. Um, in particular, uh, do something that you would call a, a relate in a database system like in Microsoft Access or uh, um, Oracle or SQL Server. But in, in ARC we're going to call it a join. So what we've got is features in, in one uh, feature class or a shapefile here. So I've got county boundaries for Wisconsin. And then I've got population information in another file, in a, a text file that I've brought in um, into ARC. And I want to connect the two because I want to make a map of the, that population values. So let's quickly glance at the attribute tables here. Uh, the key to this is that I need some field that I can use to connect the two. Now let's call our join field. So <clears throat> if I look through these fields, I see a lot of different potential values. Um, this is actually slightly confusing, but I actually see one called GIS join. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna kind of look to see if I have something similar in my other file, make sure I select the right one. And so I've got GIS join in both those. And if I did a little comparison, I could see that for Adams County, for each of these counties, this is a common uh, identifier, a unique identifier for each of those. It's going to allow me to connect those two tables up using this join so I can get to my population values. This sure beats manually entering them in. All right, so I want to right click on the table that I want this new information to go to. So I want this connected. I want to go from this uh, CSV file into this file. So this is where I uh, right click to do the join. So I right click, find joins and relates, and select join. Now you want to read through to make sure you understand what's going on in this, this dialog. But what we're going to do is join attributes from a table. We also have the option to do a spatial join, but that's another operation that we'll leave for another video. So I'm going to join attributes from a table. All right, choose the field. So this is that common identifier. So this is that join, our GIS join that I'm going to use. And then I'm going to find the other table that I want to join this, this information to. Uh, I've got a couple here, so I want to make sure I get the right one. So I'm interested in 1940. And then I'm going to and notice that it automatically chose that GIS join, so it's only got a couple options here, and that's the correct one, so that's our common identifier. Now here I can only keep matching records or all records, and I usually choose all just so I can see which ones that don't match. Uh, another useful thing here is the validate join, um, and I can look in here to see if there's any problems. So here I get a warning that the field names uh, uses a, a reserved word, uh, but that's actually not going to cause my join not to work. Uh, so that's okay and I can ignore it. Um, but some might be things that you need to pay attention to. Sometimes it's very picky about the field names or the types of fields, if it's a text or a, uh, a number field when it does the join. So there are some details that, are, that matter. Say OK. And then I'm going to right click and go to my attribute table for 1940. And then the new fields that were added will be all the way to the right. And so here I can see a set of fields that were added that weren't there before, in particular my population one. And I can scroll through and look for any null values that might happen when it didn't match if those GIS join fields weren't, uh, weren't complete. And then for my final step here, I'll actually symbolize on this and go into the symbology, uh, quantities, and select that as my way to symbolize this. Click apply, say OK and and there I go. So that's a way to do a join and connect two different uh, tables. Incredibly use in, useful in ArcGIS and something that's done quite often. Good luck.